Hello friends, Jake here. Today I'm going to show you how to install suspender buttons. So if you've seen my suspender video, you know that you will need suspender buttons to wear my favorite type of suspender, which is the button suspender. Here I have buttons from three different brands and uh, some of them are cool and I think I'm going to start collecting them. These are the Wild As Bachelor buttons from, uh, from Bailey's. Simpler buttons here from Carhartt and Welch Company back saw buttons featuring a crosscut saw. A bag of buttons uh, will cost you about four bucks, four to five dollars. If it costs any more, it's a bad deal. Carhartt's uh, come, it's an eight pack. Bailey's, it's a six pack. The Welch's are also an eight pack. Tools that you will need for this are very limited. I do recommend uh, using a scrap piece of uh, lumber for a backing board not to damage the surface that you will be uh, doing this on because you will be doing some banging. For the banging you will uh, need a, a hammer. Um, and I also uh, use a nail to make the hole, to make an initial hole. It helps, definitely helps uh, push the tack through. So speaking of the tack, the suspender button is made of two parts. The button itself and the tack that holds it in place and it pretty much holds it in place forever here's the pant back <clears throat> and here's a pair of uh, suspenders so you want to have a bu button on each side of the of the middle belt loop here whether or not you use this uh, ruler to measure it out it's up to you typically just wing it and this looks pretty good to me um, so I can make a mark on either side and uh, I put them uh, right in the middle of of the seam here. Once the mark is made, take your nail and make a hole in the fabric. Okay. Once the hole is made, you can push your tack right through it. Now you want to flip your pants around, put the button on the other side, put the tack right inside it, put it on your um, on your scrap, and hammer it in. You don't need to be ginger. And when do you know that it's done? When the button doesn't turn anymore. That's all it takes, folks. 10 seconds of work. Where you put your buttons in on the front side is a matter of preference. I used to put them right over here, but my significant other told me it doesn't look very good, so I moved them uh, to be on either side of the first belt loop. It would fit. The Bailey's uh, suspenders and most other uh, logging suspenders, the years here, the bunny ears of your suspenders are going to be a little bit longer. Uh, but you want to take them and try them out first before before you make any holes. Uh, so I just make a mark again with my pen. Use the nail to make an initial hole. Just like that. Take my tack. Put it right in the hole. Align it with the button. Flip it around. And hammer it home. And that's all it takes. Thanks for watching. I hope that you learned something today. And if you, if you like this type of content and are looking for more, please hit subscribe. Thanks again.